Hey guys, today is Thursday, March 4th. I have 22 eBay orders to ship out and a couple of orders outside of eBay as well. Let's get to work. All right, I got five or six orders I'm shipping out to viewers that reached out to me via email. I think all of this stuff is in that big lot of stuff that I just bought last week where I paid $200 for everything. First thing is this team set of Detroit Tigers cards with the binder. That's going out to Larry for $15 free shipping. And then these two Power Rangers figures are going out to Chris for $40 free shipping. This Aladdin Stanley Thermos is going out to Vincent for $15 free shipping. This stack right here has the um, Dale Earnhardt pedal card die cast three of the photo holders, a Color Me Bad cassette, and the Jeff Gordon phone. That's all going out to Carol for $50 free shipping. The two handheld Tetris games are going out to Shane for $20 free shipping. And the Speed King diecast car is going out to Chris for $20 free shipping. Chris, Chris, Carol, Larry, Vincent, and Shane, I think I got them all. Guys, thank you so much for the support. It really means a lot to me. All right, we're on to the eBay orders now. I sold something, I think, down in here. It's an old inventory co, but it should be in here. It's a lot of three patches. I believe it's these right here. These were part of the sale that I was running. Um, I originally had them for $9.99 free shipping, and with the sale, they sold for $6.49 free shipping. Your name Brady about those patches. He says, hey, John, repeat buyer here. You've inspired me to start reselling as well, although finding inventory is a little hard for a 15-year-old. It would mean a lot if you could shout out my store, Slammin underscore deals. I've got tons of trading cards and other cool stuff. Thanks for the great videos. Brady, thanks for your support. It sounds like you're doing really good. At 15, I didn't know anything about reselling. I was just a young punk with a you know job that was paying me $5 an hour. So keep up the great work, keep learning, and I'm sure you'll do great. Next thing is a catcher's mitt. Let's see, it's a Mizuno. I believe it's this one right here. Yeah, it's a youth catcher's mitt, also something I had on sale. That sold for $13.49 plus shipping. I sold one of the Moana sets that I got from my guy Mike. There was a total of three of these in that recent buy that I got from him. So I've got maybe you know, five to $10 into each one. That's over $24.99 plus shipping. Next is an action figure in E31. It is He-Man Masters of the Universe, the Ram Man. This is from 2001, so it's not one of the original ones, uh, but it did sell for $13.99 free shipping. Next sale is a big one. It's a big heavy item right down here. It is an Adler typewriter. I got this maybe a month ago. Let's see if I can dig it out of here. Oh wow, this thing is heavy. It's got the original case and it's in pretty good condition too. Let's we'll see if I can get this thing open. This Adler brand is a good one to look out for. This is the J2 model. I sold a J5 model recently and I'm gonna say I got close to $100 for it. This one right here sold for $49.99 plus shipping. In case you guys are curious, I'll show you how I packed this uh, typewriter. I got a Lowe's medium box, 18 by 18 by 16, and I used the thick bubble wrap on this, and I just used a ton of it, just lots and lots of bubble wrap. And then I scored all of the edges of the box to cut it down to size so that it's not moving around and so that it's cheaper to ship. And then I just put a ton of packing paper in there to the point that I'll have so much packing paper in here that the typewriter won't move around at all. Next thing is a belt buckle and E42. I got a handful of these maybe a month or two ago and I've only got a couple dollars into each one. This one right here sold for $15.29 free shipping. Your name Robin got that belt buckle. She says, I watch your videos and I've been waiting to buy something from your store. My husband is a gas hauler and he will love this. Sincerely yours, Robin. Robin, thanks so much for your support. Hope your husband likes that buckle. Next thing's on E4. This guy right here, this is a Lord of the Rings action figure set. Got about $5 into that. That sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Next order has two action figures. First is right here in E42. This is a He-Man, I think it's called the Battle Cat. It doesn't have um, He-Man with him, and I think it's missing the front mask. The other one is an E31. I think it is this one right here. How cool looking is that thing? This is Snout Spout. Um, same buyer bought both of these for $54.98 plus shipping. And your name Lisa got both of those. Lisa, thanks so much for your support. Okay, next thing is a PS2 over here on the D5 rack. 
It's the PS2 Fat with one controller, I think a dozen games, all the hookups and everything. I just got this recently as part of a bulk buy. I've got about $30 into it. This sold for $89.99 plus shipping. Next thing is a lot of five boxes of cards. Hiding back here on D2. They're all sealed. These are Upper Deck uh, 2006 Rookie Premier sets. There's five of them. These were in that um, recent collection I bought where I paid 500 bucks for everything. And right now I'm sitting at about $1,200 in sales on all that stuff. These sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Next is in B41. It is a Kiss cassette. Love Gun. This was in the stuff I got from Mike. There was a big box of cassettes and I think there was maybe two that I decided to list separately. And this is one of them. It sold for $11.99. Free shipping. That cassette's going on to a viewer named Nick. He says, Love your channel. I'm new at reselling. Do you have any pointers? Having a hard time getting things sold. Thank you and keep up the good work. Nick, thanks for your support. As far as pointers, like help with getting stuff sold, I would say first and foremost, anything that you list on eBay, make sure there's a proven, proven, make sure there's a proven track record of it selling. So, for example, like this cassette, this Kiss cassette, when I looked this up, um, I looked at completed listings, and I, th I can't remember how many there were, but then I looked at sold, and I think like, 100% of the completed actually sold. So that was a good indication right there. Then I looked at active just to kind of help, you know, gauge the market price of what I should price it at. So when you look something up and you hit completed, let's say there's a hundred completed listings and then you hit sold and only like 20 of them have sold. That means only 20% of the, the listings in the last 90 days actually sold. So that's not good at all. You want to be, you know, at least 50%, maybe higher. And then add one more thing to that equation. Look at the active listings. So of that hypothetical item where 20 sold in the last 90 days, Look at the active, and if there's a hundred active, that means that it would probably take 450 days for those hundred to sell, if my math's right. So if 20 sell in 90 days, 20 times five is 100, and 90 days times five is 450 days. So you might have to sit on that item for over a year just for it to sell. So just some things to think about. If you have that in mind with listing i think going forward it'll help your stuff sell better and everyone watching this if you have any advice for nick leave a comment down below for him next thing is a wake forest hat it's an old inventory code a6 but it should be right here yeah this is new with the tags i think i had this listed for ten dollars plus shipping as part of the sale i'm running as well for 649 plus shipping next thing is some vinyl records let's see it says it's in d42 it is these right here. I did an auction with these starting at a dollar. There's a total of 15 records. They sold for $38 plus shipping. A viewer named Melissa got those records. Melissa, thank you so much for the business. I really appreciate it. Next is a video game in C51. Tony Hawk's Underground for PS2. It's the black label complete with the manual. This was in a lot of PS2 stuff I bought. Decided to list this separately. It sold for $13.99 free shipping. Next is a Dub City Cadillac Escalade diecast. I believe this is it right here. Yeah, it's the fire department. It's got all those flames and everything on it. Um, I've got maybe 50 cents or a dollar into this. It was also part of the sale that I'm running. It sold for $6.49 plus shipping. If your name Ramiro got that car, he says, Hello, John, longtime subscriber, first time buyer. Me and my girlfriend love your videos. Keep up the great work. We always look forward to watching your content. I'd love a sticker if possible. Thank you for your knowledge and keep on picking. Ramiro, thanks for your support. I'll be happy to throw in a couple stickers for you guys. All right, next up, we got some cards going out. There's a handful of them, so I'm just going to bring this whole box over. Let's see, first we've got 25 basketball cards, including an Allen Iverson and a LeBron James. So that's this one right here. Um, Auction these off starting at a dollar. They sold for $20.51 plus shipping. Next is 25 football cards. These right here. Um, those sold for $11 and one penny plus shipping. Those are going to be named Rob. Thank you, Rob. And we've got, let's see, 100 football cards right here those sold for $15.51 plus shipping then we've got 100 basketball cards right here those sold for $29 plus shipping and then the last order has two and I think it's these right here 25 baseball cards and 100 baseball cards baseball has not been doing as well basketball has been doing the best football second and baseball is a distant third 
Uh, both of these auctions sold for $8.54 plus shipping, and I'll just combine them in the same box and refund the buyer the difference in the shipping cost. Almost forgot. I'm pretty sure these are going out to viewers as well. Jesse bought these. Thank you, Jesse. It's Friday morning. I have 13 eBay orders to ship out, but first I've got some viewer questions I want to answer. First one is from Cygore36. John, please help. I have an eBay item that I accepted best offer on for $19. They have not paid and no communication. It's been 10 days. I've sent one eBay reminder to pay email and one message politely reminding them that I had accepted their offer. I have not heard back. What do I do? Do I cancel and relist? Do I leave them negative feedback? The winner has 700 plus feedback. Thank you for all you do. Keep up the great work. Okay, so when this happens, you need to go through the proper channels through eBay to make sure you get your uh, final listing feedback not your listing fee, your um, final value fee. Because when an item sells, eBay takes their cut right away. Before you even get the money, eBay takes their little cut. So what you have to do is you have to open up a case against them. It's an unpaid item case. So you go into the order and you know find where that item is and then you can you know click the little drop down next to it and click open unpaid item case. I think eBay makes you wait four days after an item sells to do an un uh, unpaid item case. And if you have a store, I think you need to have a store. If you have a store, you can have it automatically open those cases for you so you're not manually doing it. So open that case and then once it's open, I think you have to wait 48 hours and when there's no word from the buyer after 48 hours, you can close that case and get your final value feedback and then relist it. So don't just cancel and relist because you won't get your money back on that fee. Next is from Jake Stevens. I have a question. When it's garage selling season, do you set a limit on how much you spend a day or do you just play it by thumb and just buy whatever you think you can make money on? No, I try not to set a limit because some days I might not hardly find anything and spend 50 or 100 bucks and then there's been days where I've spent $1,000. Um, last year, I, I kind Kind of happened upon this die cast collection the guy had like 50 or 60 die cast cars and i think he was asking like 15 to 20 dollars a car and i got them all for maybe 500 bucks or something like that and wound up being a pretty good deal so i usually bring a good amount of money with me you never know what you're gonna find i really don't like to limit it to a certain dollar amount all right before we do the ebay orders i got a couple orders that are going out to viewers that reached out via email this one right here is a nintendo 3ds xl Got this in that big buy I made last week where I paid $200 for everything. This powered on, the bottom screen was okay, but the top screen had all kinds of issues. Um, so if you were named Chase, bought it for $35 free shipping. And Chase also bought that car I showed yesterday, and I accidentally called him Chris. So Chase, I apologize about that. Next are a couple of shirts. These are going out to your name, Andy. We've got the Jimmy Buffett shirt and the Valvoline shirt. Both of these I got from the Mojo Casher crew. He got these for $40 free shipping. And then lastly, we've got a Bible here. Uh, if you were named Lucas, got this for his mom. This is a really cool Bible. I got this from my guy Mike last week. And this thing is from, I think, 1746. It's really, really old. Just has an awesome look to it. It's a Welsh Bible. It's been rebound. And Lucas got that for $50 free shipping. Chase, Andy, and Lucas, thanks for the support, guys. Hope you like that stuff. Okay, now we're pulling eBay orders. I sold a Ducks Unlimited hat. I think it is this one right here. Yeah, new with the tags. I got this at a garage sale last year along with a bunch of other hats the guy had. I got less than $2 into this. Had it listed for $10 as part of the sale that I'm running, so it sold for $6.49 plus shipping. Next item is another thing that I had on sale. It's a Ted Williams glove. Let's see. Should be, I think, right in here. No? Is this it? Yeah, this is it. Right there you can see Ted Williams. Not in very good condition. I mean, it's got names written on it and stuff, but I figured since it was Ted Williams, it would sell. Uh, with the discount, it sold for $6.49 plus shipping. Next thing is a two-in-one tablet and laptop. Right down here. Let's move this basketball game out of the way. This is a Nextbook Flex 11 with Windows 10. In really good condition, complete with the box. This was part of that big buy I made last week. That sold for $59.99 plus shipping. Next is a VHS tape over in D42. Right back in here. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Look at that graphic. That is so cool. 
Got this from my guy Mike last week, so I maybe only got a few dollars into it since it was part of that bulk buy. That's all for $16.99, free shipping. Let's go and ask a viewer named Noah. He says, hey John, long time viewer from California, but I was born over by you in Loveland, Ohio. That's where I went to high school, actually. I'm a big fan of the channel and I knew I needed this tape when I saw your newest video. I was wondering if you could possibly shout out my Instagram where I buy and sell vintage toys at shelf underscore warmers. Thanks again, keep up the awesome work. Noah, thank you so much for the support. Hope you like that movie. Next thing is a set of cards, 2008 tops baseball complete set this is part of that uh, $500 collection I bought and I think this is the last set um, I have left everything else is sold that sold for $59.99 plus shipping I sold some stumpers I did a couple different auctions for them first is an A31 it is this one right here the A team I started that auction at a dollar and it sold for $42.22 plus shipping and the next is down in C5. There's three of them in here. I'll go ahead and pull these out so you guys can get a look at them. We've got this orange Chevy truck. This is a 4x4 Coast Guard. And then down here, top came off. I think this was the most valuable one. 4x4 Rampage. These weren't in great condition and they weren't in working condition either. So I made sure I took off the pictures, took off the top, showed the battery compartments and everything just so everybody had a good idea of what they were getting. These three sold for $112.50 plus shipping. Okay, I sold another auction item over here on D2. Let's move this car out of the way. This is the kit car from Knight Rider. This is part of a big toy buy I made from the Piqua resellers. Those stompers were in that buy too. This car is in pretty rough condition, missing a door, just overall not in great shape. So I made sure I pointed that out, took a lot of pictures. Started the auction at 99 cents and it sold for $51 plus shipping. Next is a Lord of the Rings figure. I think this is the last one I have. This is Strider, also known as Aragorn. This is part of the sale that I'm running. That sold for $7.49 plus shipping. Sold another action figure, this guy right here. Let's see, Val from Evolve. I got this a long time ago, maybe like nine months, a year ago. It was part of a bulk buy, also part of the sale that I'm running. So it was 35% off. It sold for $4.54 plus shipping. Next thing is a hat, um, Flight Camp Air Space Museum. Let's see, it is not that one. Here it is. I've had this for quite some time. Also something that I did a sale on. That sold for $6.49 plus shipping. Your name Russell got that hat. He says, hey John, I appreciate what you share to the community. I was selling locally for a while, but lately I started taking eBay more seriously because of you, and it has helped a lot with supporting my family's bills and getting me through college. That is awesome, Russell. My eBay is Russ the Bus. I like that. It would mean a lot if you could throw in some stickers. Russell, I'll be happy to throw in some stickers. Thanks so much for the support. All right, next thing is a toy you guys saw me buy at the Antique Mall. I guess it's been two or three weeks ago now. This Sailor Moon Jupiter, I paid $50 for it. I listed it for $120 plus shipping. I sent out an offer of $98 plus shipping and one of the watchers accepted. I sold an old camera. Uh, let's see, it's on the C2 shelf right here. This is an old Victor Cine camera, Model 3 and this was part of a bulk buy. I maybe have 10 or $15 into it. That sold for $39.99 plus shipping. And something I want to show you guys about this camera really quick. This thing weighs over five pounds without the box or packing material or anything. So I'm going to use either a regional A box, which I think it'll fit in, or a regional B box. And the reason I'm doing that is because it'll save on the shipping cost. So regional A boxes, you can put up to... Let's see, what's the max weight? You can put up to 15 pounds, and this will ship at a two pound rate. And then the regional B box right here, I've got some better looking ones than this. You can put up to 20 pounds in this and it'll ship at a four pound rate. So that camera will definitely fit in one of those two boxes and that's how I'm gonna ship it. All right, while I've been packing orders, I made another sale. This is an old book on the E2 rack. Let's see, I believe it is 
this one right here. Yeah, Light of Masonry and Odd Fellowship. Um, this is in that big box of Masonic books I got from the Pickle Resellers. This is an oldie, 1870. Had this listed for I think 70 or 80 dollars. I sent out an offer of 45 dollars plus shipping and they accept it. All right guys, before I end this video, I have some viewer mail that I want to open and I picked a really bad time to do it because my neighbors over there are making a whole bunch of noise. They're fixing lawn mowers and making all kinds of rackets. So I'll just have to talk over that. All right, first thing is from Jason from Texas. We got a card here. I came across these cards in a big lot that I bought at a garage sale. These are just a small thanks to all the knowledge and tips you have given me, Jason. Oh, wow, a lot of Cincinnati Reds in here. Aaron Harang, he was a good player. Willie Green, Paul O'Neill, Holmberg, David Weathers, Todd Frazier. Oh, that's a cool Jay Bruce card. Got that red shimmer to it. These are great, thank you, Jason. All right, next is from Nicholas and Charlotte in Colorado. A lot of different stuff in here. I see some cards, some buttons. All right, we got a sash here with a whole bunch of buttons. That is pretty cool. And then we got some more buttons in here. And then I think these are like baseball buttons or tokens. Yeah, I remember these. These are old, like little baseball coin button things. These are cool. And then down here, we've got some baseball cards. This caught my eye. Here's an old Topps Kids card. You guys remember those? Let's see, what year was this? 92. So yeah, this was... This was geared toward me as a kid. I was seven years old. That is too cool. Yeah, look at these old Topps Kids cars. These are awesome. Nicholas Charlotte, thank you guys. I really appreciate it. Okay, next is from Mile High Resale in Colorado. We've got a note. Hey John, I found this bag and immediately thought of you. I've been watching your channel for the last year and the tips and insight behind your content has helped me out a lot. I started reselling last March when my wife was laid off from her job due to COVID. I'm trying to build it up so I can resell full time. $35,000 in the last 10 months thanks to you, Matt, and Lonnie. That is awesome. Seriously. Appreciate everything you guys do. Hope 2021 goes well for you. Adam with Mile High Resale. P.S. Straps are in the bag. All right, let's see what we've got here. Oh, no way. I've seen this bag before. Oh, this is killer. Look at this. All-Star Game. Cincinnati hosted the All-Star Game in 2015, and I was able to go to it, and it was a blast. Adam, this is so cool. Thank you, man. All right, last but not least is from Aditya. This is my buddy. I know what this is, but I will still open it up and show you guys. So this is a 1976 Topps Joe Morgan card. PSA graded eight. And he told me he was sending this. So thank you so much, man. This is really thoughtful. I appreciate it. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.